Hey guys, thanks for checking me out. I just want to make a quick video for some of the new guys in the business getting the snow plowing, looking for customers. I just got back from an estimate, uh, so the customer, I like the price, so I was happy with that. And also, uh, she asked me about if I could do it per plow, how much it would cost. Uh, so I'm going to talk about per plow snowing events. It might be different in a little your area, but uh, just pre prepare yourself so you're ready. So just figure, you got to make a little chart, like if it snows under three inches it'll be you know say forty dollars uh, three to six inches sixty dollars uh, six to nine inches maybe seventy five dollars and anything like over a foot uh, you're gonna have to figure it out yourself anything over a foot you know it might be eighty dollars you know per occurrence so just let them know it could get pretty pricey if they went that route uh, but they're gonna try to be slick and try to uh want to save money and if you don't actually spell out, you know, how much it's going to cost, you know, per snow inch that you're going to plow, uh, they're going to think that when you got a foot of snow, that they're only going to pay you, you know, 30 or $40, depending on what price you guys, you know, you set out. So kind of have something off to the side written down somewhere so you can show them or give it to them, actually. Uh, just let them know you're coming from and just show them the differences. I'm not saying there's a better way or, or a right or wrong way to do it. I just don't want to see you end up doing work for free. And also, uh, let the people know that uh, they don't have to call you to plow. Uh, you're going to be in control of plowing because uh, you don't want to get home and uh, finishing up for the day, whether it be in the middle of the night or during the day. You're just getting comfortable, had a cup of coffee, had a sandwich, you're tired, so you're getting ready to take a nap, and you lay down for a couple minutes and the phone rings, and, and they want to get their driveway plowed. Uh, so that's not cool. So you got to let them know that you are going to be in charge of making decisions about snow plowing. Like I said, be extra clear about you know the price per amount of inches you get because if they sign a contract with you and it says you don't start for two to three inches of snow plowing, uh, they'll be calling you, letting you know that there's more than three inches of snow when there's actually only one inch of snow. And reverse the table, uh, if you do plow per time with them and you're not accurate to keep a record of how much the snow was, the date and time you were there, uh, they'll be telling you when you hand them a bill that, you know, on Saturday it actually snowed nine inches. They'll be telling you it only snowed like two inches, so they don't even know why you came. So just watch out because sometimes people are slick. They try to take advantage of you, but I just want to let you know about that. So in case someone does ask you about per time, uh, you'll be ready to come back and educate them with where you're at per time plowing. I try to do mostly all resident, residential uh, contracts for the season. Uh, and I also just let them know that if I bring out my Bobcat or a Skidster, uh, there'll be an extra amount of money charged. Uh, per occurrence, I can't give them a price, but the minimum price would be $125 to a, a snack stove. Or move snow around because uh, my truck isn't a bulldozer. A lot of people like to think that your truck is a bulldozer. And when you break your truck, you know, you break your transmission, that could be $3,000 or more, depending on if you got one of them fancy eight or nine speed ones. So just put that in your arsenal tool so you won't be shocked when, you know, people ask you and you'll be stuttering and you walk away from Mexico going, man, they got me on that one. I wish I would have had the right answers for them. So you come on on top. Uh, so anybody got any questions or comments or concerns, hit me up down below. I'll be sure to answer them for you. Thank you. I'll see everybody on the next one. Have a great day. Be safe. Bye-bye.